Spinners and Spinners. Welcome to part three of making a felted ball. What we have done so far in part one, I show you what supplies and what type of fiber to use. Part two, I showed you, um, I showed you how to make the felted ball. Now in part three, I'm going to show you um, how can you tell if it's felted or not, and I'll show you a lot more things. So what you're going to do is you're going to untie your knots. Now it's going to be kind of tricky because uh, your felt your knots have been got some wet and it's, it's kind of hard. So I untie my knot. I'm going to go inside my pantyhose, go all the way down to my felted ball. Now your felted ball is going to stick to your pantyhose because it is felting. So you want to pull on it kind of hard but not too hard because you don't want it to um, break on you. So I got out of my um, pantyhose so I'm just going to put that away. So you see, let me come over here, you see it's kind of like stabled enough that you can just rub it and it won't fall apart. So what you're going to do, again, is take your hot water, dunk it in, and then rub it. Now I'm going to show you how you can tell if it's felted or not. So let me get this dry. Okay, on your pantyhose there's going to be like these little tiny fuzzy things on there. On, on the outside I mean. And if it does that, that's mean it is time to take it out of your stocking and to felt it by itself. As you can see that my yellow has gone halfway through my ball. So that's pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to form your ball. You want it to form it in the way you want it to be. So if you want to make your ball like flat sort of, so round, you could do that. Or you can just um, roll it and make it really round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it so I want it to be round. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dunk it again and then rub. Dunk it again and then rub. Now, you want to make sure that your um, wool is not too thin enough. Like if you see it coming apart, you want to felt it more. So I think I'm done with that. And I'm going to um, bring my felted ball to my cold water. Because what I want to do is I want to dunk it into my cold water and get all the soap out of it as possible. So I'm going to dunk it in. Let's play around with it just a little bit. Don't squeeze or put any pressure. So I just want to hop it, like let it bounce in there. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So I'm just going to do I'm going to squeeze very, very lightly. You don't want to squeeze too hard, you just want to squeeze very lightly. That helps get some soap out. I'm going to roll it again, form to my shape, and I'm just going to dunk it into the cold water again. After you think the soap has gone out of your ball, what you're going to do is you're going to take your towel and just roll it up and then just pat it dry. Now if you live in hot weather, weather you can always stick it outside to dry or you can just leave it on a plate or stick it somewhere safe where no one's going to bug it or irritate it. You, you can also do that as well. Now I'm just going to balance it back and forth 
kind of hard because you want to make sure it's not breakable. So thanks for watching how to make a felted ball. Bye.